Hi, I'm Matt Jaster, Senior Editor with Gear Technology Magazine. And I'm here today with Dr. Oliver, Oliver Winkel, Head of Application Technology at Lee Bear Gear Technology. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. We're going to be talking about the latest technologies Lee Bear is offering. So let's start with uh, some of the latest innovations and technologies that you're highlighting here at Gear Expo. Okay. Um, we're showing on the machine two type on the on the fair here two types of machine. We're showing a hobbing machine, which is specially dedicated to the job shop market, and on the other hand, we're showing a gear skiving machine, which we also recently introduced at the uh, Emo Fair in Germany just a month ago. Okay. Um, maybe talking about the first machine. Sure. Uh, we are making hobbing machines for a very long time. But um, very often we uh, worked on dedicated machines, yeah? specially suited, tailor-made for the customer needs. And uh, now we are coming up with a machine that's kind of a stock machine. So it's standardized with very short delivery times to be able also to support the American market with a typically very short lead time uh, machines available. And also we increase some of the um, and say abilities of the machine, bigger diameters, bigger modules, bigger hops and things like that. Okay. Uh, how can these machine tool technologies better prepare your customers for the day-to-day -day manu manufacturing challenges they encounter? Okay, I would say regarding the hobbing machine is especially that now, uh, let's say, another high performance cutting machine is available in a short lead time so they can react better on the uh, short term quotes and, and jobs they get. And regarding the skiving machine, I think that's very interesting that uh, we now have an additional process besides, besides shaping and broaching, which you can add to your production, which fits very well to medium to big lot sizes and is much more productive than the traditional shaping. Explain the uh, tooling challenges with your skiving process. Well, um, I think we'll talk about fixtures or cutting tools. Cutting tools. Cutting tools, okay. Uh, regarding the cutting tools, there are, from my point of view, two cha challenges. The first is, if you look at the cutting tool, it looks like a normal shaping cutter. Okay. But it is not. The profile is different. And due to the cross-axis angle, you have to really accurately calculate the desired profile. Um, if you just take a normal uh, shaping cutter, you, uh, you get a gear, but it does not have the right profile. So that is challenge number one which we are matching at Lieber by really having the right mathematics to design them to this first part, good part idea. Okay. The second is, um, skiving in general works for about 100 years. The problem all, always was tool life. So especially making these tools in a high quality, looking for the right materials and coatings, edge prep and this stuff, this is very important to get really a re reliable process and make it successful in industry. Okay. Uh, let's uh, talk about some of the products and technologies that Lee Bear offers that some of your customers might not know much about. Well, if it comes to that, um, you know, we are making shaping machines, which we do not show at the fair. But uh, what happens quite often to me is that someone asks, oh, you're making grinding machines? And, uh, well, we're doing this for 30, 40 years now. Right. And uh, maybe you have to work a little bit on the marketing. <laughs> but uh, that is something that I like to highlight also, because uh, even if we think about some of the things that today's industry is talking about, like polishing or twist-free grinding, these are things that Lieber invented in the 80s and 90s. Maybe we were a little bit too early because it just came up now. Um, but um, this is one of the points, and we are going on with that to, to make this kind of innovations to try to enable our customers to, to grind the gears of Tomorrowland. Okay. In general, uh, how is gear grinding evolving in our industry and what role is Lee Bear playing in this evolution? I think that, um, generally speaking, hard finishing is definitely growing. We look 10, 15 years back, there was a lot of shaving. And if we get new inquiries, I would say 100% is hard finishing, especially grinding. So um, it's really on the move. And the need for grinding machines is increasing. And also, we are participating in that. Um, because, as I pointed out, we're doing this for a couple of decades now, and we try to get into this market by having very flexible machines, which also some innovations here and there to make things possible, which were considered to be impossible in the past. Okay. Let's look on the crystal ball a little bit and tell us some of the things Lee Bear's developing in the next three to five years for the gear industry. Okay. Um, well, on the, one thing, on the one hand, we want to address even more the job shop market. 
Some people still might think oh, Libre is a comp company only serving automotive and big mobile stuff and all that, uh, that customers, but that's not true. In fact, uh, over 50% of our customers are meeting to small uh, companies and we like to address that more and um, also br bring like the hobbying machine we have on the fair out more products which are especially dedicated for the medium and uh, small size companies. Okay. That's one point. And the other point is um, we have the idea that there's still a lot in gears that can be improved. A lot of that is known, for example, think of asymmetric gears, um, but it's not used because some people think it's difficult to manufacture or it's even impossible to manufacture. And that is something we at Lieber try to address, that we try to make things possible and cost effective uh, in the future, which are not really widespread use today. Okay. Well, thank you for your time today. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thank Thanks. you very much.